Hello and welcome to this set of introductory tutorials for the particle system in Omniverse. We'll be looking at point instancers, how to change a sprite into a mesh, and how to set up colliders. The particle system in Omniverse uses a source to emit from. You can emit from the volume or surface of the shape. For sources, you can use the meshes and shapes in Omniverse or import a mesh. For meshes, you can use any of the meshes you can create in Omniverse or import a mesh to use. For shapes, you can use either the cube or the sphere shapes. So first let's make an emitter. First create a source for the particle system emitter. So let's right click on the stage and create, and then go into shapes and add a sphere. Next we need to select an emission type. For this example, we'll be using a point instancer emission. So select the sphere and then go up to create, go down to particles and then select with point instancer. Point instancers virtually copy geometry to points at render time, and it supports source objects with different materials. We don't need to see the particle system source, so go up to Sphere and then click on this eyeball to hide it. Now at this point I like to save my files, so save your file on your desktop or whatever it is you want. So go to File, Save As, and go to your desktop. We'll call this Tutorial 2. And then save it as a USDA and hit Save. We'll be changing the sprite into a couple of different meshes with their own materials and randomly spawning them using their object index. So the first thing we need to do is get some new meshes. Now you can either create a mesh in Omniverse up in the Create menu in Mesh, or you can import a mesh. We're going to be importing a couple of meshes uh, with their own preset materials. So earlier, uh, if you had downloaded the content to follow along, uh, wherever it is that you put it, uh, go there. I used my desktop. So go in my desktop in the particle system tutorial files and then pull the effects for 01 USDA and the effects for 05 USDA in. Now, when these are pulled in, we're going to need to pull them both into prototypes. So to do that, left click on the sphere instance and then shift click on the sphere 05 and then pull them into prototypes. So now that we've got this in prototypes, we're going to connect them to the uh, point instancer in Omnigraph. So go up to Omnigraph, hit editor. And you can see we've got uh, our output here. And what we need to do is we need to pull in the meshes from the effects Vero 01 and 05 into this block for the particle system. So left click on effects Vero 01 and pull it here, drag and drop it there. And then left click on the effects Vero 05 and then drag, it, drag and drop it there. Now that we have both instances in the particle system block, what we need to do is we need to connect them to this output. So what we need to do is left click on this connector here and then drag into prototypes and then control click on this connector on VFX 05 and then pull that into prototypes and then they'll be connected. If you don't do that, it'll uh, disconnect the VFX 01 and then connect VFX 05. From here, let's close Omnigraph. Now the next thing we can do is um, I want to get rid of this sprite. So let's go up into the sprite and then delete it. So now that the sprite's deleted, we need to actually uh, call on the two meshes that we have just put in. So go into Particle System, Emitter. Let's drag this over here so that we can see our properties. And then down in Display, we have this indexed object, a random indexed object. Each one of the meshes we connected are assigned a number. So if you go to the random indexed object and hit two, you'll see the first instanced mesh. And if you hit three, you'll see both of the instanced meshes. This is what we want. Since we're here in the emitter, I want to change a couple of settings. So go up to your, um, your direction, speed, and mass, and then change the emit along axis to one, and then emit away from center to 0.7. Then go down into speed and change this to 200. And then give it a random speed of 150. So it got, has a little bit of variation there. 
Uh, let's change the lifespan to three. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate the emitter so that it's pointed in the other direction. So go up into your sphere and then uh, rotate it in Z by 180. So now that we have the emitter set up, let's go down into the output and do a little bit of cleanup. Go into raw USD properties, go into prototypes, and then click on this button to remove the sprites. We're going to add a mesh instance for the particles to bounce off of with collision. First thing we need to do is get our mesh instance. So if you downloaded the files, go into the particle system tutorial files, click on stage, open up this, and then left click drag this into the stage. Now you can see this is clipping uh, the emission a little bit. We don't want that. So let's just move this down a little bit. And if you want to remove the grid, hit G. Let's see how far we move this down. Let's, let's move this down by negative 50 total. Okay. So now we've got a mesh instance in here. And what we want to do is we want to make the particles collide against it. So how do we do that? Go up into OmniGraph and hit the editor button. And what we need to do is we need to add in a, co a collider node before the solver. So let's move this over a little bit. And with your cursor over the particle system group, hit tab and do a search for a collider. And now you can see we have particle system collider. So click on that. And now we have our collider node. We need to hook this up real fast. So go into outputs particle. left click drag it into inputs particle then take the output particle and left, and left click drag it into inputs particle. Normally I'd pull the instance meshes into OmniGraph and connect them there, but I want to show you a different way to connect the meshes inside the collider node. So close OmniGraph and then go into the particle system collider. At the bottom of it in property, you can see we have this collision primitives primitives. Click on Add Targets, and then in the Select Targets window, go to World, Stage, and then left click, and then Shift left click to select all of the cubes, and then click Add. So now you can see that these are bouncing off a little bit. Let's change a couple of settings in the uh, Collider node to make this bounce a little more. So we just want to change a couple of these settings. I mean, we want to make sure that collisions are enabled. Let's turn off self collisions real fast. And then let's, let's make bounce one. And then let's, oh, excuse me, let's make bounce one. And then let's make friction zero. By adding to the bounce parameter and removing the friction, the sphere instances are bouncing with a little bit more energy. In this video, we've added a collider node to add collisions to the particles and connected the meshes through the node. This concludes this video series. Thank you for watching.